And so I kind of want to take us back in history a little bit and show that this is, this is not uh, a new event. This is not a new byproduct of modern society. And I'd like, I'd like to use an event that most people are familiar with, but probably know very little about the real history of. And that's Friday the 13th. And this is a, a day known by most people as something that's very um, spooky or has some strange, negative, dark connotations to it. But I think if we look at the origin story of Friday the 13th, we can see some of these societies, one very prominent society at the time, uh, having a very public historic event that is uh, allows for conjecture or speculation to be put aside because we actually see that history has has played out. Can can Walter? Can you give us a little background on on the real story behind Friday the Thirteenth? Well, there was a man who was called Demolé, and this particular individual came uh, into conflict with the French government. And they belonged to a secret society which was called the Knights Templars. And these people had amassed huge fortunes and tremendous power by starting basically what is today the modern banking system. With its interest and all of these issues uh, designed to create wealth. And once this organization had succeeded in gaining power over the wealth of not only the nobility, but basically over the entire populace, including governments and kings and rulers, then it came to the point where this organization was uh, demonized, rightly or wrongly, by the French government, and de Molay was sentenced to death. And this date on which these events took place became a very prominent uh, feature in secret societies. And today, that day is, shall we say, celebrated or shall we say, uh, remembered with regret by calling it the day of bad luck, depending from which side you are coming, whether you are coming from the light side or the dark side. And uh, yes, Friday the 13th becomes uh, sort of entrenched in the minds of people. It's interesting if you, if you get onto an aeroplane, there is no row 13. So <laughs> people are afraid of that number and some people embrace that number. Well, it is a fact of history that these organizations didn't just disappear overnight, but morphed and uh, were represented by other organizations and incorporated and expanded. And all that happened was that something that was a little bit more visible became a little bit more invisible. Okay, so we, we see a connection here to a secret society with this very prominent date that everybody at least has heard of or knows as bad luck, not necessarily knowing the history. Um, but like you said, what, what was the specific event that, that happened on Friday the 13th? It was the execution of de Molay. Now, if you, if you uh, go into a secret society like Freemasonry, for instance, they have a youth brigade, which is called the de Molays. Now, why would they use that name? so prominently and why would such high-ranking politicians actually be involved in something like this uh, it is well known that a president such as bill clinton was a very uh, prominent in the demolay movement which is the youth movement of freemasonry so if these people were as uh, had such negative connotations, then why do societies today still employ that name and uh, run their, their youth brigades under that banner? Well, and obviously if they have that name and it's under that banner, then they know the history behind that date and that name as well. Absolutely, and this is how you follow the clues. It's like, uh, you know, it's like a quest game. 
A very, very tricky quest game. 